Well, I got to looking through some old files on my computer and I noticed there is a bunch of footage from our vacation that I haven't gone through and I haven't made videos of. It was right after the arches. I got real lazy and kind of stopped. I didn't kind of, I did stop making videos right after that. I kind of got burnt out. Not kind of, I did get burnt out. And there's some more stuff. I think on this video I'm going to show you stuff from uh, Colorado. Fruta, Colorado. Montrose, Colorado. And maybe even some Mesa Creek. We'll see. But there's plenty of footage. I just want to keep the videos a little shorter. In case you're wondering, I'm under the Mill Street Bridge, right down below Central Dam, just trying to stay out of the rain a little bit because it is kind of a rainy fall day, and I don't want to get my camera lens wet. So check out the good times. Let the good times roll. Well, folks, we're just waiting here at the food exit rest area to dump our tanks and fill up on some fresh water. Right now, I am running water into my black tank to help get the solids out. I'm waiting on this person. Uh, I'm actually third in line here. I'm waiting on the person in the Mallard RV up there. It's been 10 minutes and um, I haven't seen much go on. And he was here before I started counting. I promise you I will be in and out of here in less than five minutes. And what, ha what happened here? What happened well, was I sneezed. First time it was fine, the second time I pulled on this piece right here that used to be there and it flew and the beads and stuff flew all over the place. We didn't find all the pieces so we just ripped it off. That's how it's gonna be. We used to have another chain, like a double chain going there. But I think it still looks nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy you didn't. Well, she went to sneeze and she was trying to cover up her sneeze with her shirt and she grabbed her. And there's something going on with that spot because I, I haven't sneezed yet today and I sneezed twice there. And actually, when we came back to go find some more beads, I sneezed a third time. Interstate to Grand Junction or Moab is right over there. Well, good morning, everyone. We stayed last night at a Walmart, at the Walmart in Grand Junction. Colorado. We got there early. I was just so tired from all the walking the day before and Grand Junction's got a lot of over-the-air television stations and it was a good LTE signal. Walmart's a place we can download some YouTube videos to our phones using their Wi-Fi. It was just kind of a place to recharge and get back to civilization. It was a little bit sketchy. There were some shady characters shady characters there I don't know it didn't seem too bad to me uh, when I woke up this morning it was 8 a.m. the one nice van nice rig was gone and I decided to head out check my tire pressure just banged on them banged on the rear tires and everything was good to go got to leaving and, and noticed that I only had 11 miles on a full tank of gas yet my gas gauge was between three quarters and full Holy crap, that's not very good. We're here in Delta now, and I filled up on gas, which is not too bad here in Delta, Colorado. It's 286 a gallon. It's maybe 30 miles down the road from Grand Junction. Filled up on gas, took have 51 miles on the odometer. It took 13.85 gallons. So I averaged 3.9 miles a gallon on that tank. And it doesn't look like anybody's been doing any siphoning. I have a lock gas cap, which I know is worthless, but I didn't notice anything. But I normally get at least eight miles to the gallon with this thing. And figuring eight miles to the gallon, I had 7.3, 7.4 gallons. That's unaccounted for. Now I know I could have been at a gas station and filled up, and the and the RV could have been leaning the wrong way. It's possible. I would say it's more likely that the RV was tipped funny the last time I filled up than somebody actually siphoning gas, but $22 worth of gas, unaccounted for gas, missing, sucks. I don't know. It's probably nothing. We're going to get a bite to eat at the McDonald's here. We're right next to it. I think the girls are going to stay inside. They slept for a little bit while, while I was on the road. And we're gonna head to Montrose and from there I'm not sure 
So I'll keep you posted. So there's Maddie, five minutes after she woke up. <laughs> Didn't know what she wanted, so we got her some pancakes, but she said it looks really good. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning. There's Amber over there eating her McGriddle. She was a little unhappy because it didn't have egg and cheese on it and she thought maybe Madison had some more food with the three pancakes, but... Yeah. Amber gets a little concerned about fairness. How much money was hers? Uh, the McGriddles were $2 each and the hot cakes were $4. Is that fair? Yeah. Because mine as well got me two of these. Yeah, I guess I could have. But I didn't think you could eat two. Well, because you're just a baby. She's the baby. She's not going to eat all that. Are you the baby? Mm -mm. All right, I have no idea where we're headed. I just know we have lots of time left and we're not really super far from home. So the Walmart was all right, but I don't like staying at Walmart. Oh, and I see a laundry mat. So I guess I know where we're going now. This is what my eye caught. I was just looking out the window and... What did I spy over there? All right, off to do laundry. They have hamster balls. Hamster balls, what are those? You guys are gonna have to put the covers on those. We are at the Montrose Field House in Montrose, Colorado. It was only $3 to get in. They have a swimming pool. I see their water slide isn't working, but you know, that's okay, I guess. We'll deal with it. They got a free lunch. Salad, peaches, and chicken nuggets. That was free. So there's our $3 right there. And they also have tennis courts outside, which we're going to utilize. And the soccer field, which Maddie can't wait to get on. Here's what the pool looks like. There's Maddie and Amber right there. If I can zoom in right in the middle of the screen. There's Maddie and Amber. They just turned the water slide on. I thought it was broken, but it's not. They don't turn it on until one o'clock. Hello. We are going to be trying ice cream, but it's not just any ordinary ice cream. It's freeze-dried astronaut ice cream. Only $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. And you don't need to refrigerate it. No. Um, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. So it's pretty much Pizza. Napoleon ice cream. Napoleon? Yep. So let's try it out. I meant to say Napoleon, not... Mm. <laughs> Ne Neapolitan? Okay, so let's. I'm gonna have to give her a scissors. Okay, I got it. She's got it. No, that's good. You don't need, need to open it that far. Let me see it. It's in like a package and it doesn't smell so good. Okay. Looks like I can see some right there. Okay, so there's a bunch of little pieces. Yeah, because it broke up. Out. But that's what looks like.
I couldn't. No. Drop your here. Draw the pink. Three, two, one. Mmm. That's good. If I had to rate it out of ten, it'd be eight. Otherwise, it's good. I heard it about seven. I would and a half. eat this. I would eat this. If I if I had a lot of this, I would eat it all because it's good. Mm -hmm. It's soft and creamy and rich and it melts in your mouth. It's exactly like ice cream, but freeze dried. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they make this. Me too. And that's it. Hey, and if you're lactose intolerant, you can't have it. Because it contains milk. Hey, you eat all the chocolate. I haven't had a piece of chocolate. Bye -bye. See you guys later in the next video.